What's going on everybody? I'm back with another Grand Theft Auto 5 video and today we're going to be trying to find the rare Seawash Green Worn Saber Turbo paint job. And this car is super rare. Is it, there's only one variant of it. Like as the tornadoes, there are multiple colors of the worn paint job. But this one only comes in Seawash Green and it's pretty hard to find. But uh, in today's video we're going to be going over the process. So what you want to do, you want to go to options, and then online, jobs, play job, rockstar created, missions, and go down to the mission denial of service. And you want to play that mission. Confirm. Play. Okay, yeah, jo launch this job on your own. There's, it's a little bit tougher by yourself, but uh, if you can get some friends to do it with you, that would make it a lot easier, and you guys can just uh, rack up on Worn Saber Turbos. This one's a lot harder than the Sand King video I did earlier today, but uh, what you want to do, you want to destroy all of the trucks first, because then you have, see the time limit down there? If you don't destroy all of the trucks, you have a time limit, but what you want to do, you want to destroy, destroy the trucks except for one and then it'll say destroy the last truck and uh, once you destroy all the trucks the timeline will go away and you'll be able to get some t you'll have unlimited time to get the saber turbo so uh, I'll be back as soon as I'm done what's up guys I'm back and uh, as you can see I've destroyed the trucks and when you're done it says destroy the last truck and there's no time limit anymore so what you want to do you just want to cruise around you can go to any of the Los Santos customs but I found that this one spawns the most of them and I kinda I'm kinda just creeping up and these are a lot harder to spawn uh, these are probably the hardest ones to spawn and you're gonna have to, it's most likely not gonna happen on the first try so uh, if I don't have one here I'm just gonna do a new clip and uh, I'll just show you guys when I get as you can see there's not one down there right there so uh, I'll see Oh guys, I'm back again, and uh, as you can see, down there, there is a modded Saber Turbo. So, uh, I'm going to shoot it so it does hopefully doesn't disappear. But uh, I'm going to hurry down there, and I'm going to try to collect it. Well, I think you'd want to shoot it, because uh, if uh, there, I've had it a few times just despawn when, I, on, when I'm on my way to go get it. And uh, yeah, you can see it right there. There's a modded worn saber turbo, and as you can see, it has like a weird texture on it. And uh, so we're gonna take this back to our garage. So, clips towers up here. Yeah, but. Uh, this is a really rare car and it's very hard to get to spawn that that right there took me about 10 tries just to get it to spawn uh, but yeah you do want to destroy all of the trucks until it says destroy the last truck because uh, you'll easily run out of time and uh, you'll get oh, there was one time that I got really lucky and I got it to spawn on the first try but uh, I haven't had it happen since then and uh, yeah but uh, I'm going to drive this thing back to my garage real fast. It's really cool when you... I'll show you guys in a minute when you take it into Benny's and upgrade it. Uh, it does take away the blue stripe, though. So we're going to go on and take it into my garage. Got to make sure I can I insure it because... This, I've made the mistake before of not insuring my vehicles that I've gotten and I've had to do it all over again. The long process. I'm gonna store it right in here. Penthouse Suite 2. Okay, I'm gonna replace the... Let's see, I'm just gonna replace that stupid Jeep right there. Okay, but yeah, you can see it's in my garage now, and uh, it's the Warren Saber Turbo, and in a minute I'll show you guys what it's like when you take it to Benny's. I'll be right back. What's up, guys? We're back in Benny's again, and uh, 
as you can see I took the worn saber turbo that I found in the mission earlier in the video uh, I took it to Benny's and it takes the stripe away automatically the secondary color I changed it from navy blue to white all it is is it's on the fender or on the uh, kind of chin down there whatever you call it and it's on the spoiler and I customized it a little bit inside I just put uh, gray or I think that's frost white actually it looks gray and the primary color is already there the secondary color is the white and yeah but it looks pretty nice I, I think and you can you can put liveries on it you can customize it just like any other car see there's yellow pinstripe royal stripes those will probably look the best on it but uh, I think it looks the best without a livery and yeah but uh, and that's all that's really all you need to know but uh, I'm gonna take it back to my garage and thank you guys for watching this video hopefully you enjoyed it um, I should be coming out with another modded car video uh, later today or maybe early tomorrow but tell me, got, tell me what you guys think of this video and uh, if you want me to keep doing these modded car showcases and how to get them and I'll see you guys in the next video